All right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday. Our friends for Cl from Cliff Leedy Winery in to see us. And this was one of the most anticipated new wineries to come about in the last 10 years in Napa. They started in 2002. And, uh, well, you know, when you hire somebody like uh, David Abreu and then uh, Michelle Roland to consult for your winery and the winemaking, you know people are going to be talking about you in the Napa Valley. And uh, this is a, a vineyard based winery. These guys do buy a little fruit, but uh, most of the stuff they make is all estate juice. And um, the Sauvignon Blanc from them has been on our best of list before. It's uh, this 2014, maybe the best wine in terms of value from this whole lineup. I'll tell you, man, for uh, 25 bucks, Sauvignon Blanc is a cheap date. And they use a little bit of these concrete eggs for this. And uh, they mix up the, the fermentation methods, partially barrel fermented and uh, stainless steel. And then the concrete egg. It's got a little bit of Semillon and Sauvignon Vert in it. And uh, this wine's got a lovely bouquet, ripe melon, fig fruit, a little gravelly minerality note, a little bit of that musky quality you get from Sauvignon Blanc. All their wines unfined, unfiltered. Nice rich texture, texture on the tongue here. And like I said, this wine opening up nicely on the second day too, that kind of candy grapefruit citrus, uh, leaving that tongue salivating for food. One of the qualities we love about Sauvignon Blanc, excellent juice. All right, this Fell is a second label from this winery and they've got an Anderson Valley Pinot Gris here, and uh, which was excellent as well, I have to say. And this wine is, uh, it's got that neutral French oak. You give it a little bit of richness, but uh, really lovely fresh fruit, apples and pears, a little bit of that musky quality, almost like the Sauvignon Blanc as well, almost like an onion kind of skin, earthy quality. Really nice freshness on the tongue though, like biting into a, a fresh pear and the pretty white floral notes on the finish. Nice length and minerality, an excellent example of Pinot Gris from Anderson Valley. The Fell Pinot Noir Anderson Valley uh, 2012, um, this is what Anderson Valley's become known for, really big Pinot Noirs. These wines got a strong earthy component to them. A little bit of a gamey character here as well, a little stewed character to the fruit, almost like a strawberry jam. Uh, Michelle Edwards was the first winemaker. She was in Colgan, and uh, Chris Tynan is here now. And they've had Michelle Roland, like I said, involved. Philippe Melka, who's no longer there. But uh, they've had some real talent here winemaking at this winery. A bit more of a savory style of Pinot Noir, that lovely ripe red berry fruit with a nice spice and earth component to the finish. And some tannins here as well. This wine, very well built. An excellent example of Anderson Valley Pinot Noir. And then the single vineyard Savoy 2012. And they bought this vineyard in 2010 at 600, only 650 cases produced. So they are selling some of their fruit up here also. This wine, like a bigger example of this Anderson Valley wine, a little darker berry fruit, some smoky earthy notes, also darker in color here. The black truffle earth showing through, dark cocoa on the finish as this wine opens up. Really thick and rich velvety texture, but lovely balance here as well. Excellent juice. And um, Anderson Valley is known for its bigger style Pinots. Um, not to be state mistaken for Cabernet at all, though, this Cliff Leedy Cabernet, Stag's Leap District, 2012, uh, an excellent little Cabernet. This 2012 vintage, very charming. You know, these guys are known for their poetry vineyard blend, and uh, this wine does have some of the Twin Peaks estates and the hillside terraces of that poetry vineyard in it. And it's got a little Petit Verdot, Malbec, and... Uh, um, Merlot in the blend? I don't know. Put Petit Verdot in there twice. Okay, anyways. Uh, 21 months in oak. A good amount of that fresh earth loamy quality to the red currant and berry fruit. Cigar box spice. Really nice complexity here on the nose. A good amount of that currant and cassis berry fruit on the tongue with a nice uh, layered quality to the finish. That spice and earth. The little milk chocolate and toasty oak, oak notes. Really rounding out nicely on the second day. This wine's fairly approachable, but it's got nice tannins and nice structure. You could keep these 2012s for a decade or more. Excellent juice. And that's what we had to drink with our friends from Cliff Leedy Winery. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.